Okay, what I'm doing right now is uh, testing out if uh, you can uh, use 3D printed parts to uh, put some uh, pressurized air into it from a uh, pinball tank. Um, this is needed for a project, but it can also be a nice uh, test to see if that's even possible to do. Uh, because I did not really find any information about it uh, so far I looked. So uh, at this side the, it will just slide in and it will be sealed by having two o-ring going over this, uh, this pipe let's say, this cylinder. So you can see already one is inside and the other one I still need to yeah, fit inside there. But that's how that part will be sealed by doing it like that. And this side I want to do it in a different way and that's by putting an uh, o-ring let's say on the top of the, the fitting so and that will be pressed against the 2d part uh, so I will basically drop in that o-ring that I just dropped on the ground <laughs> and then turn this one inside this one already got uh, the threads inside and it's already uh, modeled inside so uh, should be easy uh, this is not designed to be taken out and uh, in and out all the time uh, but I basically will be making with this design is what I basically will try to replicate is this air to stock from uh, Tipman so it will have the air in part right there where normally this piece can go in and then you got basically this hose inside of there so you can uh, put your connector or you want your remote line on there and that's basically what I tried to replicate so you can see that I also made um, an extra ring here so what I will do just prevent this from pulling uh, all to the threads so it can uh, kind of grip by the stock right there at this point so there's less stress on this part right here so that's at least the idea and that's what I'm going to try out but I wanted to kind of document it a little bit because I'm not sure that it's really tried before but what I've looked at uh, it should be possible to do it's only a question on long periods of time if it uh, doesn't stress out and maybe by grease from the paintball marker that it maybe starts to wear down the plastic uh, we will see but uh, the only time can tell also what I forgot to mention is, is that this piece is printed without uh, any air inside it's solid that's of course needed when you do something like this I will use this air tank uh, this is a uh, 200 bar uh, air tank uh, that will be 3000 psi but the output of the air tank is lower it should be around uh, 700 psi but it differs from uh, regulate to regulate how much it precisely is but something around there okay Okay, I think the air leak was from the two O-rings at the front because those were old O-rings I took out of the older prototype that did not fit the fitting. Uh, but those were damaged, so they were leaking. It was not nothing to do with the plastic. So we will see what happens now. And maybe it are the other O-rings, there's a quite old marker. I don't know if I recorded everything uh, correctly but uh, as you can see the old model that I used uh, cracked 
That was not something I really noticed, but it was keeping uh, on uh, leaking, let's say. No matter what type of o-ring I used and uh, adjustments I did. Uh, but it felt more like it came out of the front part and not out of the back. So I'm not sure precisely what was going on because it was not really leaking at the, out of the back. But once I was uh, uninstalling everything, uh, the hose. Yeah, I did notice the cracks right there, so that's the reason why I now made it, uh, besides I made it thicker, I also did uh, lower the fan speed during the printing, so it may help with the adhesion, but what you also can notice that I uh, installed some bolts, those will go all the way down, so it will grip all the layers together, that's at least the idea. Uh, but uh, we will see how it all will go. But uh, yeah, that's the update for now. It's still leaking. It's also leaking out of my road line itself, but. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, I hope uh, I can demonstrate this. But what is going on right now is the, the plastic itself is leaking. It doesn't really matter what I do with the O-rings. You can see that the air is even coming out of the, the top part. And you can especially see it when I do it like this. There will be bubbles, so there is really no way that I could make this airtight this way. That's why I don't see it be done. So that's good to know, of course. As you can see, it basically turns into an, uh, like you see in the aquariums, to make air bubbles. So again, it's leaking all over the place. It's leaking down here on the sides. It just tries to creep out everywhere. And keep in mind, uh, this is printed solid, so. It should not have any air gaps in it basically, but still you can see it just tries to get out somewhere. So maybe it all now got hairlines of damage, I don't know how it precisely goes, but it creeps out. So just as you saw in the video before, uh, when you just print it in uh, PLA plus and uh, solid it will still uh, leak some air. So my plan is, instead of having it made out of PLA, is have uh, a print uh, inside at a thin layer let's say. So it's uh, just for the shape so you can put there your o-rings, things like that and the threads. Uh, don't mind that. but. Uh, that is in this piece and this piece that's around at this shape is just to uh, help guide um, the threads inside because what I've done now is made and uh, drilled a big hole inside of there and 
also in the front. So now I can surround the GB weld around this entire piece where the air will go through. And hopefully the GB weld will uh, make it airtight. Uh, so the air cannot be pushed out of this, uh, this chamber let's say. And that's what this piece comes in. This will uh, help it uh, to guide so it's not the crooked or uh, sideways, things like that. It helps to guide the uh, thing in place. And that's what that will do. Afterwards I can just thread the bolt out. And it was not planned of course, but the, the channel inside, the narrow part, is just the same size as let's say an M3 bolt. So it's precisely gripping in place. So it's really easy afterwards to thread it out. So of course in this part the air will potentially try to get out and be filled with air let's say. But because there is a barrier of GB weld around it I hope that the tent kind of stays there and then of course when it's occupied with uh, let's say air all the air will just flow through where it's supposed to be going making it airtight and since the o-rings are sitting right here and there is an o-ring sitting right here it doesn't really matter that um, potentially the the air can also go this way out of the sides maybe we have to see uh, if this doesn't work, I will uh, for the project I'm working on will go a different way. I always think about something else, and uh, what I may find even better than this one. But just for the sake of uh, me trying, I wanted to kind of see if this is a potential uh, that it may also work, giving me more options. Let's say then I got still two options to play with. Um, there was a small print to make, there was a little bit more work than I was thinking it would be because I did not have the right drill to do this. But still, let's try it and uh, we'll see how it will go. Okay, this is the Peggy version. Now again, it's leaking. Yeah, again, it's leaking all over the place. So in conclusion, um, it did not really work for me at least. Uh, my, when I was talking about it with my brother, he did make a good point. I did see before I was making this test, uh, like some people are making like miniature engines that they are 3D printing and those seem to work. So maybe it got a lot to do with maybe different print settings that that maybe do some little gaps that you're making with your uh, 3d printer so it may be possible i'm not going to say that it cannot be done but you can clearly see it's not like a really easy thing to do like okay just print solid and then everything will be fine the air will try to find a way out no matter what uh, you could see that it did not matter if I use PLA Plus or Peggy, it basically leaks the same way. I was maybe thinking like, uh, I do remember that some people say like when you use normal PLA it kind of likes to sweat water out. If it's uh, like, if you use like a water uh, connector or something like that where water goes through, it kind of likes to seep out. 
So I was thinking, yeah, maybe it, it's not really that, um, yeah, maybe dense is the right word, not so airtight. So that's why I tried the patchy, because I know that patchy does kind of like uh, to contain the water inside if you use it for, let's say, something that holds water. But you saw that did not really matter. Uh, if you use the, the, the one with the GB welt around it, you can clearly see it reduces it a lot. And if you really would uh, want to make it airtight with that, and you really have to use a 3D printed part, I would kind of suggest you maybe put the GB welt even also around the threads that you kind of insert, so those are also closed, so there is no opening for the uh, the plastic that's opposed to the air, let's say, the compressed air, cannot really uh, get contact with the outside, let's say, it's one solid piece, but that that's if you're going to do something like that, why not use, uh, let's say, just a normal nut you thread it all in, apply some GB weld and then glue it inside of a an plastic mold or something like that from 3D print to hold it in place. It, it starts to lose its uh, purpose. So that's why I really move away from this uh, altogether. But I did find it kind of useful to show you guys, and because uh, for me at least I found it really hard to find any information about it. So at least if somebody wants to try something like this, maybe on lower air pressures, at least you know like okay, this may be what I'm gonna expect. Um, it doesn't really necessarily help to change materials, but maybe some materials are really good at this job. Maybe it does uh, depend on the material, but I just use not the good, the right ones because I just use two. That's that's fair. But uh yeah maybe it just helps somebody kinda get his project started if it really needs to use this. And the only reason why I was kinda starting out with this because the one side is just a straight um cylinder with no threads so you cannot really thread the other one on there and clamp it on. But don't worry, I already kind of figured something else out, the way to do it. And there will be a metal on metal connection and can still be dissembled if it needs to. So for me, with my project, uh, way better. But I just want to see, like, can I, can I accomplish it also with 3D printed parts? But as you can see, it leaks all over the place. I would not. And this is immediately leaking it's not uh, maybe if you would pressurize it for let's say is is for paintball you pressurize it for one day uh is it end of the day not even worse is it cracking like the the gray one was doing somewhere because of all the air that tries to get out and it kind of erodes the plastic inside what will it do when it's two days in use on an event, a big game, in the sun, in the cold, but I, I would not really trust it at all. If it leaks already it's this badly, um, right now, when you just is brand new, let's say, uh, no, I would not trust my uh, life on it, uh, let's say. Uh, it is just painful, but I would not want to go to an event and be there and like, oh shit, it's it leaking, you know. That's kind of a paintballer's worst nightmare, let's say. Um, especially if you cannot fix it very really fast. So yeah, that's that's my conclusion about it.